Hi everyone, how are you doing? My name is Martin. Welcome back to another episode, second episode of Let's Play Kingdom Comes Deliverance. Um, I've been busy off camera. I've been, as I said in the previous episode, leveling up my herbalism and um, I couldn't stop. <laughs> I'm level 13. I actually leveled one uh, level in strength as well. And that is because due to a lag day, her picking actively will give you experience to your strength stats too. That is, every time we pick up herb, you get one XP. It doesn't sound much, but it really adds up. And for in herbalism, the other one, um, this one, uh, flower power. Uh, if you have a bunch of herbs with you, you get plus two charisma all the time, which is pretty good. So, um, and last but not least, I've got two points in strength. I want to use one. Let's do mule. Um, what mule will do is we can carry 15 pounds of extra weight. And the other two, grave digger, carrying corpses, stronghold, blocking opponents' blows, and clinch master. Not so much. Um, so I keep that point. And for this one, I could do scout. I don't know. I think I will keep this point and think about it. Okay. <laughs> Let's continue our playthrough. Enjoy. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master in Sassau did for us. <laughs> Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damned if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. We got the charcoal. Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. Uh-oh. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? <laughs> the boy gets caught making a fool of himself and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and what? You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. The furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. Good. Once more. Uh. 
That's it. Done. Now I'll file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles. Had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university. And all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Henry, are you all right? <laughs> oh, we already got them. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword Bring is truly beautiful. Mm-hmm. Fine lass, eh? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. We did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a Let commoner? Let try it. Goodness, he's so incapable. <laughs> you still have a lot to learn. You do. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Sven? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but... Duty calls, and I must leave. Here you are. 
Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. He certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Thank you. Sure. Oh, I thought he was talking to me. Yeah. It's been an honor, Sir Isvan. Have a safe journey to Sasan. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside Ooh, the house. We get a crossbow. Talk as if you've seen it happen. I don't think in this. And my age has seen a lot. Game. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Well, shit. That must be so terrifying in these days. This shit happened. Damn. Hurry, what about you? Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No, you do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Radzik. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me. in that bag, I want to know. Oh, man. Quickly! We have to close the gates! Move! Come on, we're closing! Move in, people! Come on, come on! Time. Oh, Henry, thank God! Inside, quick, we have to shut the gates! Keep running, people, come on! Why mess with me? Are you mad? You can't go back! Uh, get through the gates! Come on. The story behind this father, our father, I want to really want to know because he is a sword fighter. Before he got the blacksmith, he became a blacksmith. Oh man, 
those bastards. These days were rough. We're going to kill him. And take his armor. Come on, Hal! You can still make it! Run! Right in his head. Find a Holy horse. shit. Try to tell Merch. Tell them what's coming. Warn them. Run by the moats. There's a path down there. Jump down from the wall and flee. Alright, we learned skeletons, we learned humans. Let's get the frick out of here. Um, I can't wait too long, and the guys behind us, there's no way we can fight them, so gotta go. Let's see if we gain some uh, strength. I'm a bit drunk as well. What did I take? Oh, probably the uh, savory potion. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the reason. Yeah. Yeah. We know about fighting. Go to hell, you Tatar beast! Tatar beast. Leave her alone. Let's get the fuck out of here. Locked on, that's not good. Alright, we gotta go. They're chasing. Get a cutscene in a second. Here we go. So painful, man. Straight into one of my favorite things in this game. Horse riding is done so well. And we got these three guys right behind us. Let's see if we can get, gain a little bit of space by cutting off some corners. I'm not sure if we can. I believe they take the road. No, they don't. Holy shit. Flee to Townburg. All right. Run. Did get some uh, Run stamina. for it. I thought they sticked on the road, but they don't. Yeah. <laughs> I love it that you can loop behind it. Alright, so there. Okay, we can, we can gain a little bit of stamina here. Just a tiny bit. Alright. Serpentine a little bit. Run for it! Run, you bitch! A little bit of a leg spine now and then. Not sure why. Run, Run for it! Good off my troll being good. To get some stamina back pretty soon. Let's do that now. Flee! Holding uh, right. shift, you just follow all the follows to work. That's pretty good. Cool. Ah. Ow. Alright, gotta go. Should be able to make it. Shouldn't bleed out. Till we get uh, to Tomberg to the castle, it's right over there. Oh, 
need the cutscene starts any second now. There we go. Ooh, leveled up horse riding. Nice. Someone give him a drink, and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you, and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning, and, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tatars? Tatars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Who is that? I, I don't know. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm going to pull that arrow out. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. As good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? Sir, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. 
It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Watch it. You can't draw your weapon here. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I think we'll leave it here else the episode gets too long. It's like 25 minutes already. It just auto saved the game as well, which is excellent. So thanks for watching. Hope you join me next time for the next episode. Until then, have a great day. See you later. Bye. <laughs>